Climate change, environmental damage, and too many fishermen chasing too few fish. A recipe for disaster if we don't work to change things. With us today to give us an overview of what's going on in the world's oceans is the man who set up Fish Base, marine biologist Rainer Fröse. Thank you very much for joining us here. Yes, okay. Personal question first. Do you like fish? Yes, I do, certainly. Actually, I started when I was nine years old with my first aquarium, I think it was a, a paradise fish building a bubble nest. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, your database gets over a million hits every yes. day. Who exactly is using it? Well, it's mostly actually uh, anglers, divers, aquarists. Uh, and that's funny because we built it for scientists to help improve fisheries. But uh, they're also using it, students are using it, obviously, but the bulk now is really laypersons. And in a way, I like it. Well, now, you've been examining the data on fish for about 20 years now. What would you say is, is the most worrisome development? Most worrisome is that uh, the number of threatened fishes is increasing. Every year we have new reports of new uh, fishes being threatened by extinction. Also, the number of stocks that are overfished and threatened by collapse is increasing every year. And uh, the number of uh, fish species that we can exploit and do not yet is diminishing every year. So that are very worrisome trends. Has anything improved? Well, our knowledge has improved, yes. That's what we did. Uh, we, there is more new information produced about fishes this year than 10 years ago. And so we know more, but that really doesn't help them much. Now, uh, just like we saw in that report, you also pursued some research in the Philippines. What is it about that area that makes it so important? Well, when we set up fish base, we had to think, where in the world can we do this? They had to be good in English, they had to be good in science, and they had to be affordable. And if you combine that, very few places in the world come out, and Philippines is one of them. What do you think is causing the most damage to fish stocks at the moment? Is it overfishing, or is it environmental damage? Well, actually, in uh, environmental pollution and so on works only close to the coast, close to the source of the pollution. But for the oceans, fishing was the, really uh, the devastating impact. We are overfishing for 50 years now, five decades, and you can see the results. About 90% of the biomass, that means the amount of fish that was in the sea and that we could eat, is gone. So that was really, really a heavy impact. Billions of people, some of them are, are the world's poorest, really depend on protein from the sea. Can we afford to tell them to stop fishing so much? Well, can we afford to continue overfishing and further reducing what the sea produces for them? Uh, so actually we have to step in and improve the situation because if we do that, then in four, five, ten years from now, then can, can have 60% more than currently from the sea. So can we afford not to do that? I would, I would rephrase that. Where do you think we'll be about 20 or 30 years from now? Do you think things will have gotten better or will they have gotten worse? I'm semi-optimistic. I'm working hard, for example, in Europe to repair the European stocks. And if we do, then in 20 years from now, we will have 60% more food from the sea and healthy stocks and large fish. And yeah, so... I'm optimistic, but on the same, the trends are against me, so they have to prove me wrong. All right. Well, we certainly hope that they do. Rainer Fluza, thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome.